New here at 10 o'clock, the Urban League of the Upstate is hoping to restore history. The city recently transferred ownership of the land where the former McLaren Medical Center sits. It's at the corner of Academy and Wardlaw Streets. And now the organization raising funds so that facility can once again serve its community. Fox Carolina's Kennedy Harris shows us their plan. You think about it as a kid, you always say you want to do something for your community. At the bottom of this high rise is a piece of history. The clinic where Councilwoman Lillian Brock Fleming fondly remembers green lollipops and Dr. McLaren. Sitting in his office and it always smelled like a doctor's office. And um, he was always so gentle and so kind and he always made sure he engaged uh, conversation no matter how old you were. If you could talk, he would talk to you. Dr. Edward McLaren opened his clinic in 1949 next to his home. He treated patients who couldn't afford care and black patients who wouldn't be treated anywhere else. And soon this clinic will continue to serve. We have to be aware of the significance of history, um, legacy, and I'm going to say black excellence in our community. The Urban League of the Upstate will turn it into the McLaren Institute for Health and Quality of Life. Representative Chandra Dillard pushed to secure 500000 from the state. And Councilwoman Fleming helped get $100,000 from the city to kick off the restoration. They need $3 million to bring this facility back to life. And with more than half a million dollars already raised, they'll begin construction in almost 90 days. The McLaren Institute will provide programs, educational resources, referrals that will help build sustainable cross-sector relationships. The clinic will once again be a haven for people who need it and also a bridge to careers in health care. What we have to understand is that progress comes at a cost, but it doesn't have to be a cost that is not beneficial to the people that live there. And this is what McLaren has become. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News.